Hey, we're back. This is just another tip video. Um, what I'm trying to do right now is remove the bearing retainers out of the CB750. There's three different there's three different bearing retainers and there's three different sizes. Uh, this is the one on the front wheel right here. I actually don't have that tool yet, so I'm not going to be removing that one. And this is the rear wheel. I already removed one of them. This one it goes in like this. Now people do this like all sorts of different ways. They like use a punch and bang it out. They do, they make their own tools. They do all kinds of other stuff. I can't even get it back inside. Um, but what I did is I just went ahead and bought a tool. There's this guy in Anaheim. I'm in San Jose. Um, so in Southern California that makes these things, they come in two sizes. This is both for the rear wheel and I went ahead and bought it. It was like 40 bucks. It's a lot better than me spending half a day or a quarter of a day or any other amount of time like building a tool. So this is the front side. I'm going to show you how to do the other side now that I've done one. So I'm going to put the camera on my head here. Okay. And I'm going to try to show you how to do this. So the first thing is there's these four pins. One, two, three, four. And I guess when Honda built these, there's like a cover and there's a whole bunch of stuff that comes on, uh, like on this. So all it has to do is come back and snug, but they just kind of over engineered it and they just like peened all these things inside. So what you need to do is you need to take a drill with your smallest bit and go ahead and drill these peens out. And it's just enough to like get some metal and they're aluminum, they're super soft. so. So they should be easy to come out. You just drill those pins out and it doesn't take that long. I'm just gonna do a little bit more just for good measure here. And that's it. So just go ahead and move that over to the side. And again, there's two sides to this tool because they're actually two different sizes on either side, which is like a huge pain in the ass that they just can't be the same size. But um, tool goes inside. Let me see if I can get it to turn at all. I'm not going to be able to get it to turn that way. I'm just using a dead blow hammer to get it inside these little things. And to get some leverage, what I did was I just got on the outside of these studs. And I'm sure I can replace these studs. And I'm just going to try to... All right, there it goes. So it moves. And then I just like kind of work this thing around. This wrench around here give me some leverage and just continue my way to take this thing off. Ah, oh, man. And it's kind of a bitch. It doesn't really want to come out and this thing has probably never come out, so that's probably why. Ah. Oh. So we're past the area, I think, where it was peened originally, so it should start to come out easier now. Ah, oh, come on. Oh man, you have no idea how difficult that was and how long I've waited to pull that thing out. The grease still looks pretty good though, look at that. And this has probably never been replaced. Look at that, the grease is like still 